Hi, what's up guys? I'm Shoykot and this is Take Gadgets. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to overclock your Android phone. So at first, take a note that overclocking your CPU may cause the device to overheat and can damage your CPU permanently. So do it at your own risk. So to overclock your Android, you need to have a rooted device. And if your device is not rooted yet, then there will be a link in the description as well as in the i button how to root your Android. So check that video. So there are two types of apps available in the Play Store, free and the paid apps. First of all, I'm going to show you how to overclock your Android using free apps. So first of all, go to Play Store and download this app called Antutu CPU Master. So open this one and you can see this is quite basic app you can just select the maximum speed and you can just select the minimum speed and then you have to click on the set on boot and then apply and then you are ready to go and you can also check the benchmark from here and the next one is no frills cpu controller so open this app and from here you can just select the max clock frequency minimum clock frequency and the scheduler and then you have to apply on boot and then apply and you are ready to go and you can just see your frequency stats from here this is the last five second frequency stat the next one is Tegrak overclock it is also a free app so let's open this one and it is also a basic overclocking app you can just uh, set your uh, cpu frequency and you can also change your core voltage of your cpu and you can also set cpu max frequency from here uh, first of all you have to load the overclock module then you can uh, change the max frequency of your cpu then you can just select this option set on boot and you can just boot your system so that's it let's go to the next step go to play store and search for set cpu for root users and you can see that this app cost 100 rupees and around two dollar so install this one now after installing launch the app and give it super user access now after this you have to allow the app to scan the available speed of a processor after detection you have to balance both the minimum and the maximum speed for your Android CPU switching. Don't click on set on boot until you feel that the speed is stable as doing this can harm your Android. Now after this you will be creating profiles so that you can set the times or the conditions when set CPU should overclock or underclock your processor speed. And that's it you are done. And the next app is overclock for Android. It costs 200 rupees so install this one. Android for overclock makes your device blazing fast and can save your battery life. It also allows you to set custom profiles so you have full control over your device performance. Control CPU with profiles for charging, time, temperature, battery, a screen on off and more. The next one is Fox 123 Kernel Enhancement Pro and it costs 314 rupees. The Fox Kernel is another useful app if you want to tweak CPU voltage. This app provides users to control CPU governors, adjustments of CPU minimum and maximum frequencies and it also displays GPU frequencies in real time. So that's all for today guys and if you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you guys don't like this video please go to the comment box and state your reason why you don't like this video and if you guys like this video please hit the subscribe button down there it is free to subscribe and I am sure because signing off for today we will be back with a new video soon so till then goodbye.